first game we show you is a game I picked up dirt cheap. Always wondered how um, this, the games in the series played basically, and this one looks quite nice actually. It's uh, Death Junior with the Root of Evil on the Wii. Not one I've actually seen in the wild ever, um, but I picked this one up for it's about three quid I think on eBay, including postman packaging, so I can't go wrong with that. It's a nice, it's a nice copy as well. Um, yeah, the full colour manual, quite nice. But you know, I'm bought a Wii game in a while. That was dirt cheap. I had a bit of a go on it. It's a bit of a slash up. Looks like to be from a kind of like a kiddie's point of view, but. I mean, it's got 12 plus in it actually, but um, yeah, I'll give, I'll give it a go for that price. Presentationally, it's really, really lovely actually. Really kind of unique graphical style. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Wind Waker, um, but uh, I'll give it a proper go. Next game I'm going to show you is a game I picked up off Genki. It's a Game Boy game. It's, uh, there we go, Game Boy Konami Collection Volume 4. Now I picked this one up because I've got PAL versions 1 to 3 and I saw 4 and I thought right I'll have that um, and then when I bought it I really, I kind of found out that the uh, in Japan the compilations were numbered differently so this is the equivalent of the UK volume 2 which I've already got but saying that I don't mind because it's in really really nice condition um, I think we all know how nice the, the Game Boy, Japanese Game Boy versions of these games are <coughs> in comparison to their UK counterparts. So, I mean, I paid 12 quid for this, including postage and packaging. It's mint condition. If I sell it on later, I'll sell it on. If I decide to keep it, I'll keep it. It's, I'm quite happy just to have it. I mean, again, it's got um, Proteus on, on this collection, so it'd be good for the, uh, for the collection, to be honest. Right, next game I'm going to show you is it's another handheld game, and one that I just picked up on a whim. Uh, three quid, brand new, including poster and packaging, wrapped in cellophane and everything. <laughs> so, it's a game called uh, XG Blast. There we go. It's a uh, infamous Rising Star Games game, so. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting. Well, I say infamous in the best sense of the word because Rising Star released some fantastic games. Um, you should check out their Twitter feed actually if you're on Twitter. Um, obviously a company that is really, really into games. Um, it's picked this up for so cheap. It's, it's, it's cool. It's for the shoot -em up collection. It's, uh, it's, like a, it's a stadium shooter. Uh, it looks a bit like... Um, not every extend extra. Um, oh, <laughs> a game whose name I can't remember at the moment. Um, oh, you know the one. The one with uh, all the little. Uh, it's like in neon colours. I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. If I remember, I'll I'll put a little uh, link here. <laughs> so um, geometry wars. That's the one. <laughs> I don't need to put a little link. Up. Uh, reminds me of Geometry Wars. Absolutely, it's a really lovely little playable little game. This and um, two quid brand new sealed, uh, three quid sorry brand new sealed. You can't go wrong really. Uh, so yeah, one, a welcome addition to the collection. Another three games to show you. Um, well, I've um, yeah, I am after a complete GameCube collection, but this kind of project stalled recently. Um, I've actually put quite a lot of the game, Q games into storage, the ones that I know I'm not going to be playing at the moment. Um, and it's kind of like made me think about um, what, I'm, what I'm collecting. I'm still going for the full collection, but as I say, it stalled a bit last six months, not really been getting very many games. So uh, I picked up a couple of games for the collection just to get me back into the spirit of things. And. Um, Two of the ones that should be two of the pricier games. Um, first one I'm going to show you is Resident Evil Zero. Yeah, you used to charge an absolute premium for this game, um, just because it wasn't released anywhere else. Um, but you can pick this up for around about twelve quid now um, on 
uh, in Computer Exchange itself, but I wanted a little bit cheaper, so uh, I found this copy on eBay, uh, put a cheeky bid in, and I won it for around about eight quid. So you know, I've saved myself uh, quite a bit, you know, four quid there already, um, and that was including postage packaging. I had a quick go on this game. It's really, really nice. Actually, graphically, really cool. Storyline is storyline strong. Um, and it's really gory, which you want from a Resident Evil game. Um, to say it's a prequel, it's interesting because the, the technology-wise, it's closer to uh, Resident Evil 4 than it is to 1, um, and it's supposed to be the prequel to to, to the first one. So uh, I always find that quite interesting. But um, full colour manual, both discs, really nice condition. Actually, I can't complain about the condition at all. So uh, welcome addition to the collection. The second GameCube game I'm going to show you today is Chibi Robo. Another one that normally commands around for the £30 mark. I've seen it go for as much as 40 I picked this copy up for 20 uh, Again, it's good nick. Had a go on it. It's completely charming. It's a really, really nice game. Um, it's got yeah, and it has got kind of Nintendo magic. It really, really has. Um, Colour manual. It's alright. It's not a bad manual. But the game itself, it's it's really nice. I can kind of quite see why it's starting to command those daft prices that it, it, it is. Um, I mean, it's by no means a really rare game. Uh, there are rare games out there. But it's, yeah, as I say, the prices are just... Uh, can be a bit crazy for this sometimes, but you know, lo lovely, lovely graphics. Um, it plays just plays differently. You 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 do control like this little household robot, and um, you're trying to make people happy in the game, which is you know it's it's, it's a strange strange concept. It's a, it's a different way to play a game. Um, but as I said, completely utterly charming and cute, and welcome addition to the collection. And last but no means least, uh, I put some gameplay of this game on. A really, really late PlayStation release, um, and it's Guilty Gear XX Accent, Accent Core Plus. There we go. So the PlayStation 2 version is a little known version. You probably see quite a few copies of this on the Wii and the PSP. Um, is it Wii in the PSP? There's, there's, there's two formats that uh, in the UK basically the ones that you'll see in the shops. Um, this wasn't quite a limited release. The only place I ever saw it was, was Amazon. Um, there's an even more limited release, release of this that's got that's insane. It's a great big art book and it got well it's got a great big art book and a big box and uh, lots of other extras as well. Um, if you do search on the internet, you'll actually find it. Um, and, and again, I think there's, there's 200 of those ever produced. So it's going to be one of those um, sets that's going to be worth a fortune in the future. They weren't cheap initially to buy anyway. Um, but a lovely, lovely box set. Um, but, you know, I'm, I, I didn't want to pay that kind of money. I only found about this relatively recently. Picked up this sealed for 11 quid from... The, the single seller that I've seen it from Amazon from. Um, so again, I probably want to watch out for if you can pick it up because I'm 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 convinced that there's not many that many copies of this round either. Um, they'll it'll have the respectable print run, but it will have been printed twice. Do you know what I mean? It'll be once you got through that initial run, that'll be that'll be it. So um, <clears throat> one to look out for. And to be honest, it's like. The artwork on the front cover is fine. The artwork, you know, on the manual is okay as well. But it's very, it's a very cheap release. They, they have just kind of like got it out there, which is fair play to them. <laughs> they don't have to do anything spectacular with it. Manual's black and white. Yeah, what is it? One, two, two pages long, three leaves, uh, four leaves. Um, Again, artwork's okay, but it's kind of repeated artwork. Um, but those are these niggly things. How is the gameplay? 
uh, plays very, very well. <laughs> Huge fan of the Guilty Gear series. You know, there's no, there's no bullshit with them. They're just, you know, great big uh, rock sound tracks. Amazing animation. I mean, this has got, it's got to be one of the, the best looking uh, PS2 games that's out there. Um, it, it plays it plays wonderfully as well. Nicely balanced, which you you want your fighting games to be. Um, you know, great storyline. Um, I mean, they went on to kind of like you know they went they, they took this further with Blast Blue. Uh, they took you know they took this concept and just made it you know something extraordinary. But you can see the genesis of that in this. Um, yeah, you know, as I said, eleven quid brand new post. But delivered, um, you can't go wrong for that price. <laughs> so um, that's the end of this video, really. As I say, I put some gameplay on, on at the end, um, and I'll, uh, I'll I'll see you in the next video. Um, might be something more shoot 'em up related. I'll uh, I'll get back to you on that. Um, but yeah, I'll keep that under my hat. Uh, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Yeah.